Breaking news in the last sort of 30 minutes or so, the Metropolitan Police, they've been approached by a woman alleging a, a sexual assault in 2003. Yes, indeed. They've released a statement and I can read you some of that now. So a spokesperson for the Met said, we're aware of reporting by the Sunday Times and Channel 4's dispatches about allegations of sexual offences. On Sunday, the 17th of September, the Met received a report of a sexual assault which was alleged to have taken place in Soho in central London in 2003. Officers are in contact with the woman and will be providing her with support. Now, they go on to say that they continue to encourage anyone who believes that they may have been a victim of sexual assault in, in any circumstance to, to contact them, no matter how long ago it was. Now, this is clearly a very important development um, and also I think it's worth noting that this... Um, allegation. Of course, Russell Brand himself denies all the allegations that have been made about him. This one uh, does date back to 2003. The four made by these women who were uh, made in the Times, Sunday Times dispatches um, investigations date from 2006 to 2013. Mm -hmm. um, so clearly, we know that the Times today say that they have also received other reports um, from other um, potential alleged victims. Um, none of those have been investigated. Um, um, but clearly, um, this is all ex exceedingly serious and the message from the police and indeed from the Prime Minister earlier had yeah. been for other, um, any anyone to get in touch who, who, who believe they may have been a victim. Of course, it's important to say Russell Brand, of course, denies ve vehemently all the allegations yeah, against he, him. He has. Uh, and as you, as you mentioned, it is evolving and sort of widening all the time. And this morning, the Prime Minister's spokesperson uh, made comment on it because they were asked about it in lobby. Yes, indeed. So this really was the first time we heard what the Prime Minister had to say about it. He said it's very serious, extremely concerning, um, and also pointed out that the Culture Secretary will be meeting with the broadcasters um, and in particular will be making the point that the investigations that uh, both that Channel 4 and the BBC have said are underway and the production companies um, that she wants to ensure that they are uh, tra uh, fully transparent and also thorough. It's not yet quite clear when that will be. Um, um, but clearly we've heard from uh, James Cleverly, the Foreign Secretary, yesterday, something the Prime Minister's spokesperson kind of pointed to, something which she's soon have agreed with, that obviously in situations where the media, politics as well, entertainment industry, you have these big power dynamics that clearly situations when people without much power haven't, haven't had their voices heard and, and urging institutions to change and to look at this. There's also been discussions about Caroline Noakes this morning, the chair of the Women and Equalities uh, Committee, saying that uh, none of these uh, institutions appear to have had effective whistleblowing policies that would enable or empower victims to report in confidence um, their concerns. And certainly, um, uh, Carolyn Dine, she's the chair of the Culture, Media and Sport Committee, which has previously brought in TV executives to answer questions and, and previous uh, scandals, uh, has suggested um, that it is possible that there may be a broader inquiry into some of these um, allegations in future at the moment she suggested they would be writing to executives to seek answers in particular about the investigations that are now going on.